There are two things that Glenn hates the most. The Line 6 products and the bass players. And if you combine those two things together, uh, what can possibly go wrong? <laughs> Referring to bass player as he or she is very offensive. Bass players should be referred to as it. Duly noted. I'll keep that in mind. Next question. And this was my only appearance on the Glenn show. Well, at least my comment made it so far. Yeah, bass players. The worst nightmare of every decent uh, band and every sound engineer. People who like to hang around the real musicians and to get offended if they hear bass player joke. Shitty guitar players, and all this stuff would be so funny if you don't have to go through hell uh, dealing with the bass players yourself. And for those of you who don't have sense of humor, let me break it to you so even you can understand. Yes, there are decent bass players out there, like Stu Hebb, Marcus Mirror, Victor Wooten, Steve Bailey, John Mayang from Dream Theater, Billy Sheehan. Well, but those are real musicians, even if they play bass. They take uh, their instrument seriously. And here is the thing. If you don't uh, take your s instrument seriously, well, be prepared to be laughed at. I ended up playing bass uh, myself in the uh, last three bands and a couple of uh, projects. Not because I'm some sort of incredible bass player, but because finding a decent bass player in the real world is harder than finding a unicorn while being sober. But if I have to find a bass player myself uh, for my projects, well, I wish sometimes uh, that I had this uh, rule number two t-shirt. But then again, the only thing why I don't uh, buy this t-shirt is because uh, I have to pay for it, then I have to pay uh, for shipping costs from Canada. And instead of buying a t-shirt, I prefer to buy a new set of strings for my bass. So, sorry Glenn, no t-shirt for me. And what do I like about a bass guitar? Well, it can work almost in any conditions. It's a total opposite of the bass guitar owner. What do I mean? Well, if you want to get uh, some decent bass guitar sound, you can do it in many ways. For example, the classical way, where you mic up the bass cabinet. You can also get nice bass tone from the DI out of your bass amp. And here is what I use for my bass tone. It's a speaker simulated torpedo cap from two nodes with some uh, bass cabinet impulse responses in it. And the super secret uh, guitar preamplifier. Yes, guitar preamplifier which I use uh, in a clean mode. I simply roll off a bass a little bit and then don't use uh, too much gain because the sound might get uh, too over compressed. And this might be useful for guitar players in bedroom studios who like to record bass uh, as well, but they don't want to spend uh, any money for expensive bass equipment. So you might try it as well, and man, you can get a really great uh, bass tone with guitar preamplifier or guitar amp with uh, some of the uh, bass cabinet uh, impulse responses. And even if you don't have any kind of equipment, you can simply plug your bass to the PA or recording device. It might get a lot of post-processing, like uh, EQ and compression, but you can actually get decent tone even without any equipment.
Once in a while I have to play gigs in a music school with my students, where they show their parents how good they become with their instruments. And if I have to play bass, I simply grab my stage monitor and plug bass directly in. Well, and for those kind of gigs it's more than enough and it sounds uh, much better than shitty practice uh, bass amps of the music school. My point is, if you use decent sort of full range uh, sound equipment, there is no way you can get shitty bass tone. Can you get shitty bass tone uh, using Line 6 products? Let's check it out. As always, I'll use my uh, instrumental track Deja Vu that is on my YouTube channel and I'll try to play the bass line using Line 6 uh, bass pod. Well, this is not my favorite sound, especially if I compare it to the way how I recorded it. Using uh, the speaker simulator with some bass cabinet impulse responses and uh, the uh, guitar pre-amplifier in a clean mode. But for this piece, uh, in this context of the mix, uh, I can live with it. I play some basic uh, root note and it kind of works. The problem begins when I use uh, uh, bass as a solo instrument where I play more than uh, some basic uh, bass line. I need some clarity and punch, and line 6 doesn't deliver it. Let's take a listen.
And so, congratulations on line 6, the fail there where you cannot possibly fail, delivering a good base turn. The good thing that they don't do base pots anymore. So, can you use the base pot anywhere else? Actually, yes, you can. If you want uh, some uh, base storm boxes, they do really good stuff. Just take a listen to uh, how good the storm boxes sound if you're into all these storm boxes for base thing. The base pot from Line 6 is kind of nice additional tool if you use it uh, with the real M for the storm box recreation. It has really nice overdrive, chorus or wawa or whatever storm boxes you need if you're into this kind of bass playing. But for the basic uh, bass tone using the M simulations of uh, the Line 6, well, it kind of works in some mixes because human ear doesn't take low frequencies as seriously as mid-range frequencies. That's why nobody takes the bass play seriously. But for me, I would prefer something else. For example, the bass cabinet impulse responses with the real guitar preamp. So that's all for today. Keep on rocking and yes, fuck you Glenn.